Psalm 56 in chapter 3 review. It says f and g are functions, as graphs are shown. Let p of x equal f of x times g of x. Let q of x equal f of x divided by g of x. And let c of x be f of g of x. So we have find p prime of 2 first. Well, first of all, you have to do the derivative of p. This is the product rule. So I think the derivative of p is simply this. Do you guys agree? Now, I'm going to do this at the value of 2. All right. So I look at 2, and here's 2. Now, I'm going to need the values of these two. First of all, I'm going to fill those in. G of 2 is 2, 3. You guys agree G of 2 is 4. Do you agree F of 2 is 1? Now, F prime of X. What's the derivative tell us? Slope. I think the slope here is negative 1. Plus, I think the slope of G is positive 2. I think the answer to this problem is negative 4 plus 2. I would say that P prime of 2 is negative 2. 2 over 1. No, so the slope is 2. Alright, so there's the answer to problem A. Okay, what's problem B using? That's problem B. Um, Quotient rule. Right on. P is for product. C is for, or P is for product. Q is for quotient. Do you guys agree to quotient rule? And I'm going to go right to taking the derivative. I wonder what C stands for. All over g of x squared, and they want that at two also, right? So again, I'm a, yep. So again, we know we know these numbers, so it should go rather quickly. I'll warn them down. We have we have f prime is negative one. We have g of two is four minus f of two is two, g prime is two. F of that is one all over g of two quantity squared. Is 4 squared, which is 16. So I think the answer to this is minus 4 minus 2 is negative 6 sixteenths, which reduces to negative 3 eighths. And that's the quotient rule. All right, so P is for product, C is for quotient. This must be the chain. This must be the chain rule. Absolutely. All right, so we put this up. And chain rule, right? So I got C of X. Now I'm going to write this down here so it's a little closer. F of G of X. How do you take the chain rule? F prime G. G prime. F prime G of X. G prime of X. Absolutely. Now it's a little more. I'm going to actually, this time I'm going to write it out so that I can keep track of things. This one's not as simple as the other two. Again, the slope at 2 is pretty easy. The slope of G at 2, we all agree, is the whole number 2, right? We've had that. What is the value at G of 2? 4. And now I'm going to look at F prime of 4. All right? If I look at F 4, 3, 4, what is the slope here? 3. 3. So I get 3 times 2. I think the answer to this one is... Again, this is just using our rules in a table. It doesn't matter that we don't know the function name. I suppose you could have tried to figure out the equation of the lines and done the derivative, but that is not the way you want to do this problem. 